Thank you, Thelma. It's Bob Fast. I hope you're there and you can pick up. It's a beautiful day. Maybe you're out giving, uh, giving instructions to people who pass what? Bob Fast of WBAI Radio, Radio Unnameable. Bob? Hey. Oh, hey. oh, look what we have. <laughs> Can I give you a light? Oh, sure. Well, you're not, you have to put something in. in it. There's something here that might be. That might actually but, do the trick. I've signed bigger. Uh, everyone seems to be, everyone is so exultant about this election, you know. All of these. Oh, so you're going to come along with a. And, all right, let's do this. No, no, no. I, you know, I mean, I think it's really, it's touching. It's well, weird. Yeah. All of these people believed so strongly in the. the democratic myth, you know, that they could go and stand in line, go out in the rain, 6.30 yeah. in the morning, somebody said, yeah. and what's, I mean, how are their lives going to be changed by what's happening? There's going to be a lot less hemorrhaging, okay? Stop a lot less hemorrhaging. Stop the pain. Well, we're getting rid of Bush. That was... You have to do one thing at a time. The first thing was I, to get rid of Bush. I right. predict yeah. Inside of a few weeks, we're going to be, you know, beginning to complain about Clinton. Inside of uh, a few months, Somebody we'll be hours. going to Washington to protest something. Yeah, yeah. And inside of a couple of years, we'll be out in the street demanding his impeachment. Right. Because, I mean, all of the things that George Bush has done that most appalled us yeah. are the things that Clinton had sa has said, well, I support the president, Matt, or <laughs> yeah. I support the president, Matt. <laughs> so, I mean... We send troops to Yugoslavia. <laughs> now, speaking of Yugoslavia, like, where do we as Americans stand on Yugoslavia? Do we allow, like, oh. atrocities to continue? Do we send in bombers? Or do, do we, we let America? them figure it out themselves? It's like a real hard call, really. And when you hear it, it's almost like, remember the atrocities of the Kuwaitis, of the people being raped and things like that? It has a similar flavor to that, you know, where it demands your attention, you know. Mm. Anyhow, you know, what's going on with you, Bob? You've as, moved. As a pacifist, you know. Yes. Uh, if you look at the propaganda that always precedes war, as you'll see that there hasn't been an original atrocity committed <laughs> in the last 2,000 years, you know, and all of these things are done again and again. Belgian really? children in World War One. I. I mean, all of these things, all of the reasons for making us go and uh, and l let our uh, our uh, our young people die, all of those reasons have been laid on us before, just like all of these election promises have been laid on us before, and w without being excessively cynical, I, yes. you know. We need a cynical um, note here. Well, maybe, I don't know, light up, <laughs> light up some broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Ball. It really works. <laughs> Very cool. This is just the leaves of the broccoli that we're smoking here. Sure. Let's see, this last week I broke the new Dylan album without knowing it. Somebody you had broke it? Some, yeah, somebody. What do you had, mean? Somebody sent me some, you know, what sounded like underground Dylan that I had never heard before. And it was a new thing. I played it and it turned out to be the new album. And how was it? Oh, it's wonderful. Really? And what about, did you go to the Dylan concert? No, I didn't. Uh, now, what, now, what does that mean if you didn't go to the Dylan concert, you know? It means I didn't have $100 to pay for no, a decent No, but I remember. We've been smoking broccoli today. <laughs> it's completely legal. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Hello, you're on the air. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah. You having a good time? Hey. No. Listen, what's the latest? Uh, well, looks like uh, Clinton's the next president of the United States. What about? Oh, hi. Not exactly, Gloria. Is this the Robin Bird show? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. Are you going to take your clothes off? Very nice. Thank you for calling.
Hello, you're on the air. Coco, can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Thank God, Coco, we have been watching you for I don't know how long now. Who was that asshole who called you screaming about Bill Clinton and marijuana laws? It was your mother. That was not my mother, Coco. Coco, we have, uh, I have supported you for I don't know how long now, but how could you deal with him? You're not going to get together with a guy like that after the show, are you? Yeah. You know we are. you got to be kidding me. How could you do that? I'm going to bend over the uh, balcony here. And do what, Coco? Uh, Coco, you can't do that. Uh, you know I can't. Okay, Coco, we have... Because uh, how did you get the broccoli to work? It was unbelievable. You drill a hole. You drill a what? hole? You drill a hole this way and this way so they meet. And you put the... Broccoli the, bomb. You put the uh, broccoli herb in the... Uh, how about this? Broccoli herb. Demonstrate. Okay, yeah, demonstrate. Yeah, yeah. Hold hey, that. This is the famous Swiss Army knife. Yeah, we made the hole with that. Okay. You know, you, this is the knife that Look. helped Switzerland ruin the, okay. Rule the world. Okay. Uh, we made the... One like this. Okay. Another one like this at a right angle, you see. Yeah, cool. And you get to suck some broccoli juice. It was really cool, baby. And there you go. Thank you. And it does work. And it does. This one's for it does work. Brilliant, Coca. Well, we have a question. Are both? Are you guys married? Yes, we are. Are you really? Can anyway. <laughs> all my friends say hello to you? Yeah. Okay, everybody, say hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> all right. Okay, Coca, we love you. Thank you. Okay, baby, bye. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Coca. Thank the you. secret is out. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Coca. Hi. Hi. God bless you. Breakfast with Coca cool and Bob. To see somebody partying on TV. It's so weird. I can't believe this. Hey, smoke some broccoli. Okay. Hey, you know that last guy just answered my question. I was waiting like 15 minutes online to ask you how to do it, but. Is it great? It it's great. You should try some other fruit. It um, works with other things. It works with other things. things. Yeah, sure. Eggplant. <laughs> A couple of months ago, you said that, uh, or something like, you weren't going to smoke on TV again. I got all upset. Now you're smoking. That's great. Well, it was because... Of the broccoli. You got so upset, we uh, changed the view. We, we made a survey of our people, and they said, what are you talking about? You've got to smoke. I'm really happy. If you need my support to stay on, keep doing it. Hey. Let me know. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Take care. All right. All right. All right. The pot party. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello that. Hello? Hi. Yeah, I'd like, speak, I'd like to speak with Robin, please. Hello. Uh, Hello, I'm Robin. Is this Robin? Yeah, this is Robin. How yeah. are you, Robin? And I'm stealing. Huh? Stealing and Robin. Uh, wait, Robin and who? Batman. Yeah, how you doing? All right. How you doing? I'm uh, good. How's everything? Great, yeah. great. Robin, you got a crazy show. Oh, what's up, man? Thank you. I I'm telling you, you really got a crazy show. Thank you. Thank it you, thank you. It 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 is. Hello. Hello. Now it's time for Bob Fast from WBAI and from life itself. All right. All right. <laughs> and uh, Bob, might I offer you some uh, pineapple, pineapple juice? I mean, uh, watermelon juice? Thank you. That's the drink of the 90s. Is it? Yes. Do you want rum in it? No. Okay. <laughs> Not that anyone else would. Well... Do you have a mic? How about Mr. a mic? Fast needs a microphone, please. Picky, picky, picky. Up here. How about down here, near this microphone? <laughs> See if we can activate this one, All right? right. Okay. Bob, you characterize this time of year as uncreative. August, yeah, yeah. right. It's true. Uh, you drop a seed in the earth in August, and it just. Uh, stays there. Nothing Says happens. fuck you, yeah. right. You can put tulips in the earth now, but yeah, so it's fine. Do you notice the way they co-opted Just Say No? Do you no, remember I didn't. The, the first time I remember Just Say No? Let's see what you it said. It was that Joan <laughs> Baez poster that said, girls say yes to boys who say no. Right. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I do. And they've turned it around completely and they've made it into the... Anti-love people. Anti-love people. Yeah. But uh, as to your your very serious problem of how to stay stoned when driving across the country. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? Uh, well, um, I came across a really wonderful book 
today, a child's garden of grass. Ah, I remember that. And they talk about something called elixir. Whoa! If you uh, take uh, whatever the material is and you fry it for about five minutes in a medium fry pan, don't let it get burned. Uh, you can pr sprinkle it on practically anything. And, wow. uh, fry with what kind of oil or no oil? Um, dry fry pan. Dry fry. Dry fry. Yeah. Okay. Dry fry. Mm. Well, constantly turning, kind of uh, wok cooking. I would actually call that frying, would you? Wouldn't you just call that uh, heating? Uh, it's called blackened tea on a red. Toasting. I think Roast. that was uh, roasting. Roast. Toasting. Frosting. And then you can put, what it, you say that's not grass, huh? <laughs> can you tell whether it is or not? I don't know. It could be toad for all I know. It's a toad secretion. <laughs> <laughs> and what about these cookies? You say you got That's from the Right to Life uh, Big Sale. I bake them myself. <laughs> <laughs> God, some of the things they sell at those Right to Life Big Sales. <laughs> Have you seen the little the little fetuses, the, the earrings with the, the corn feet? muffins, uh, little plastic Horrible. feet hanging from earrings. Uh, and the one with the heart beating at eight weeks. Oh, it's unbelievable. Just don't feel me. <laughs> unbelievable. Anyhow, this shit is just a cookie. It is a cookie. Oh, oh. Oh, I was just kidding about there oh. being pot in there. I was just kidding. I was just kidding about this being pot. I was just mm. kidding about this being Bob Fast. Oh. <laughs> and, and you're hardly Coca Crystal. Now. I'm Harley. Oh, that's oh. right. No one, but that's a secret. No one knows. Uh. Gus would like a cookie. Here. Well, when do you leave on this vacation? Okay. I'm leaving on Saturday. I can't, of course, disclose the actual place I'm going to, but let's just say it's like about a thousand miles away. Uh huh. And I'm going by car but with you're, Gus. You're storing up precious memories. Uh, <laughs> Gus, the boyfriend, and the dog. Or should I say the Gus? I love that the Donald. Didn't everyone love that? I think yeah. it was great. So, Bob, you've become not only a radio personality par excellence, but you've become quite the actor in the living theater. Hasn't that been fun and exciting and wonderful? Yes, it has. It really has. Especially be that the the play that we did had some kind of, you know, contemporary relevance. It was about homelessness. And it's called? Uh, it was called The Body of God. There is some vague talk about uh, renewing it in the fall, but I'm sure that... David and when you came on last time, we talked about this. Problem by then. And, so and how they had no a meal every relevant. night. Yeah. And it was right. wonderful, and you right. loved it. Right. Far out. Far out. Far out, Bob. Gus traveling with you? Yes, I did a shakedown trip mm. at the end of June, and Gus and I and the dog, just the three of us, went to Louisville, Juno. Kentucky. Juno. Juno. Juno the dog. And we had a fine time, and we actually came back. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Gus, that's rum. Oh, no, 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 oh. no, no, no. <laughs> no, I'll give you something. Here, darling. I believe he knew that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here, darling. I understand Gus has become... That wasn't really rum. I was just kidding. Ha, 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 Gus. <laughs> quite a nightclub uh, habitué. Gus went to see Screaming Jay Hawkins up in oh, Woodstock. Oh, fave. It was so wonderful. <laughs> Gus sat at the bar and drank a couple of Cokes, ate pretzels. He was completely cool. And we had a wonderful time. And it's like Gus is old enough to actually go to these places now and enjoy them. And he's been to a few places now that people actually know him. And I don't even look over. People come on and say hi to him. And I don't like interrupt or oversee it anymore. Are you going to be in Michael Musto's column? Who? Gus? I hope so. Wouldn't that be lovely? That would be great, yeah. Gus is sort of a scandal waiting to happen, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Thank you, darling. Yeah. So, what are your suggestions for traveling? Well, I tell you, cooking is really the best way to get past the toll booths. You know, so, if you way, had something like this, 
Mm, the toll yeah. house cookie is the way to do it. Ah. <laughs> like, that's the origin of the term, and you don't have to roll the windows ah, down. Ah, interesting. <laughs> now, what about the spray stuff they have? You believe in that at all? Poison gas? Yeah, that you, gas. You, you gas your car as you're coming up to the toll booth. Uh, uh, Osium? Yes. Uh huh. Wow. Well, don't know. No. And what's going on on your show? Well, uh, I'm on on Saturday night now at 8 o'clock instead of 10.30. Prime time, Bob! Well, That's it's great. funny. It really feels different. You know, for years, uh, I was the midnight man, you know, coming in <laughs> after everybody else had gone home. I could get away with everything, anything. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, no, the hot no, that glare. Was, you should have hit him. He was hit me. Oh. Hit me. Go. I didn't oh. do anything. Bob oh. did it all. Oh. Oh. Book. He wants a book. Oh. Okay, Gus. He was Let's get him a book. Let's get him a book. Oh. Gus. Where's the book you had before? Uh, give him the report on the SNL. Okay, Here, Gus, you oh, can read all these. Here. Poor child. Oh, I have something for you, Gus. Look at this. Exxon put this out. The family fun book. You know, like where they like take... You know, I... I... <laughs> Tuli could be singing another song at this time, you know, and the, the time would be much better spent. Well, that's so lovely of you to say, but we are going to go to phone you, call soon, and maybe you could help us out on the first few. Oh, I'd like to take would a you? call or two, sure. We're going to ask the viewers to help us out on Get Kolka Out of the City without getting busted, because, you know, I'm weird, and the cops don't. <laughs> and they know why, don't they? Does my hair look all right? Looks wonderful. How does my shirt look against the background? You don't think we should like stop taping or anything so I could change my shirt? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everybody, you should call in. William. Go right ahead, Robin. <laughs> Mitch. Uh, William Hallhauser, the, the fantastic director that I've had for so many years, just oh, had a baby. And the baby is Nathaniel Simon Kohlhauser. on the screen? I forgot to He's bring the, the picture. He's the master of the superimposition. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's an incredibly adorable child. And here's our number, 473-5386-475-1550. The proud papa. There he is. Say hi to the audience. Say hi to Nathaniel Simon, William. Uh, hello there. Hi. Hi. Turn up your contrast. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Fine way to talk to your son. <laughs> now you he's up for this show. What do you mean? Now, William, he William, he reruns the Twenty One Jump Street. William, we have sort of a deal. I'm not supposed to take any calls unless you tell me to. So could you tell me something already? Well, there's a, there's a new thing at the studio. It's what? a wonderful addition. Um, I don't know where it is, but look for it. There should be some numbers changing on the wall somewhere. Oh, yes. The wall? Right. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> oh, put the camera on that. Wow. Show that. It looks like an elevator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody get a shot of that, because I don't know where it is. All right. It's there. there it is. Where, okay. Oh, it disappeared. There, there we go. There it goes. Look at okay. that. Okay, right. now take these ones. Woo. This one. Okay, then this one. And then there. Okay, now okay. you got to do that. Okay, okay. That's for the rest of the show. Okay. okay. You got that? Because uh -huh. I can't put it up again. You're on the air. It's broken. I didn't ask you to put it up. What are you kidding? I'm a joke! <laughs> Hello? No one's on there. I don't think there's anyone there yet. Hello? Nice. William, that was very funny. Nice instrument. No, it's not that cool. this, it's, here, this official. Throw this shit out, man. Christian oh, Roebling. Oh, it's oh, beeping, those. it's beeping, it's beeping. Stop it. Now, now, that was a major mistake because that was a Channel 44 hotline. And now you've ruined the Spanish show. All right, listen, you know, there's this comedy network Ben's out there. Han, Han Network, right, William? All right. Who, can we talk to line one? I have line one on. Is that all right? Okay, hello. You're on the air. Oh, an existentialist. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, we are talking to. I'm interested if Tuli is still there. Tuli 
is still here. Ms. Olp, seen him walking down Fifth Avenue in a sort of alpine hiking costume, and I wonder if he can walk directly up buildings as well as down the avenue. You bet he can. Yeah, walk through buildings. He's a, he's a very uh, unique presence on uh, the middle of uh, Richest Avenue. You should only know. What is he thinking when he walks down Fifth Avenue in the 50s? Uh, I'm thinking I'd rather be in Fifth Avenue in the 30s. I grew up in Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn in the 30s or earlier even. And it was a, a calm and pleasant time. But, uh, and maybe he should give tours. So I'd like to perhaps oh, find okay. the, you know, going to Fifth Avenue tour with Julie. Well, uh, one of these days we'll get this city built. Thank you for calling. Very, very nice to hear from you. Can I take the next call? Hello, you're on the air. Uh, hello? Uh, yes. First of all, who is that funny looking guy without the shirt on there? Is that the Thule Kupferberg? Maybe. Uh, and, and who is this scandal waiting to happen? That's what I want to know. We know there's a scandal waiting to happen, but who is that? Can anyone remember? Does anyone have, like, the, like the memory know. loss yeah, that I have? Speaking of Gus. Oh, it's Gus. Yes. Oh, Gus. Fantastic. Yeah. It's Gus. 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 It's for you. Gus. What's happening, Gus? Gus, say hi. hi. <laughs> hey, what's happening? That's my old buddy. <laughs> Boy, he's getting big, isn't he? Yeah, he's about five six. Five six. Yeah, and that's <laughs> bent. Now, now, how old is that sign behind you got to be? Now? Excuse me. The the sign that you that's there. Oh, it's over thirteen years. I made it in, on September sixteenth, nineteen seventy seven. Out of burlap, and you remember the day? I am impressed. I'm well, impressed. we went on the air September seventeenth, nineteen seventy seven. I stayed up the entire night before sewing it. Well, of course, it would have been a last minute. Thing. It was a last minute thing. <laughs> It's so, not held up too well. Oh, I want my money fancy, back. Who has those fancy new shoes? What shoes? Th those, those fancy new shoes. I can't imagine anyone in the group. Let me see. <laughs> I know. It's oh! Da, 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 it's Lanny. It's Lanny. It's Lanny. Well, anyway, I must Thank say, you for calling. No, no, but don't thank me. We love you. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, how you doing? Just just well, I guess. Uh, listen, I have a question. With Tully Copperberg and that other guy, Steve... Uh, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, are they lovers? And also, yeah. Tully Copperberg could go to a dirt... We're married, as a matter of fact. Thank you for calling. Uh, I had to censor what I call. I'm sorry, but... Uh, uh, We're going to lose our grant because of that, William. Jesse's <laughs> <laughs> right, right. on the other line. Want to talk to him? He's already called. Here, yeah, there you go. Right, so right, right. Thank you for calling. Yeah, that's hello, you're on the air. Uh, hello? Isn't this fun? Yeah. Do you have this much fun Hi. on your show? Hello? Yes. Hello. Oh, I, I want oh. to say, you know, I... Years ago, I was driven across the country. I always, hello? Yeah, 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 we're listening. I always remember one of the main things was always like, bow your head to smoke. That was always the main thing, especially for the passengers. You know? We always uh, felt that was a very important thing, you know, pass Let's try smoke, that. Let me you know, see. bow your head to smoke. Oh, shit, I don't have enough to do this. Uh, what am I going to do? Yeah, go ahead. So, you know, that was. Right, wait, the, wait, wait. We're going to oh. try it. Okay. Now, let's say. We're in England. <laughs> I'm the driver, and I'm passing it to my passenger, Bob. Okay. I know, I know. Who's driving? You're in England. I'm we're in England. I'm driving. Oh, crossing okay. the Iraqi border. Okay. It's Saudi Arabia. So I pass it to him regular or down here? Yeah, down. 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 Okay, now. Low. 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 Right, now. Low. Okay, now he has to bow his head, right? Well, you know, bow, right, bow your head with smoke. <laughs> right, remember How that. How cool is that? <laughs> That's really cool, man. All right. All right, now wait, no, down, open down, the windows, down. the toll booths ahead. Yeah, uh-oh. The toll booth, you know. Now open all the now windows. No, you've got to have exact open change. Open all the windows right. right away. Okay, and you need exact change. You can't, like, be talking to these people. Yeah. Now, the other thing is you open all the windows, but you close them all and put the air conditioner back on. Just look normal when you drive through. That's oh, it. that will be, like, a feat. I'm asking a lot. Thank you for calling. Oh. That was fun. Uh, Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah, I, I'd like to know who is Gus. This is Gus, the executive producer, Gustav J. Finkelstein. Right. I, 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 I lost you for quite a while there. I have not seen you for about three years, and I missed you. Well, you where you been? The, were you off the air? No, I think you like uh, you. Watching you online. We've been on the air the whole time. I think something uh, happened to you, and we hope you're feeling better soon. Hi, Mark. Thank you for calling. 
You're on the air. We gotta move this along. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So Bob, this is kind of boring. It's, are you calls this boring? Hello. Yeah. Yes, Bob Fast is on your program, and he was the one who brought drugs to all the country, just like with Abby Hoffman, and I hate him for it. <laughs> what can I take next? Cut Thank you for calling. He obviously did not bring body to this man. That's why he's angry. He needed more Thorazine. Please give me another number. Thank you. Hello. I'm sorry, Bob. I don't know how I overlooked him. <laughs> Hello, you're on the air. Seriously, 400. 400 is too much. It's entirely too much. Doesn't it suck, Stop or Gus? It sucks terribly. So uh, what are you going to do? Well, like you said before, you have two choices. You either stop or you ride it out. But what about you know, the lying well, and the sneaking and the cheating as far as your friends are concerned? Well, I'm I don't sorry. know about that, but uh, harvest season is in October. But when you actually look your friend in the face and say, I don't have any good buddy. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. Hello, you're on the air. This one's for Bob Fast. Bob, I guess it must have been about five or six years ago, you did a great New Year's mm -hmm. Eve show late in the middle of the night. Good Do you God. remember that? You did a couple of them, I guess, two years in a row. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Well, anyway, I called in and I made the greatest comment. And you know <laughs> you what? The, uh, it was, it was, I mean, not, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But the reason I know it was a great comment. One it's year later, right? I remember. Wait a minute. One year later, you used it in the show again. You replayed it. You you put together a whole bunch of great comments, and you ran it. Do you remember that? Do you have what, a tape of that show? What did you say? How much? I I think I said um, something like, "Did you know that every year of your life is a is a smaller percentage?" Oh, he doesn't even remember. Your, it. Your, he I doesn't forgot. Even it was such a great comment. I can barely remember. Come on, give him a chance. Give him a chance. Each year you get older, and every year is a smaller percentage of your life. So you better enjoy what you get while you get it. But I didn't say that part. But that's what I meant. <laughs> anyway. Wait a minute. Every. <laughs> every every year, every year you get older. Oh God! Well, yeah, that's I know. What I want to say it's more the rest of your life. Okay, we I understand. Know, I, I, I really have to apologize for doing this. Today is the first hard. day of the rest of your life. No, no someone else said that. that. Up, that guy, that's incredible. Well, that's, but, <laughs> thank you for calling. <laughs> Goodbye. The guy that said the remaining. If they gave a war and nobody came, yeah. what if they gave a war and nobody? Came? You know, put every thing in the form of a question. <laughs> Can we take another call? Thank you. Hello. Yeah, hi, Coca. Can I ask you a political question? Please. Well, what do you think? How, how do you think George Bush is doing in Iraq? Right I'm sorry, Bob. In Saudi Arabia. How does he No one's going to see, so it doesn't matter. Wait a minute. What? George Bush, George Bush Saudi Arabia. is handling the Mideast crisis. I we haven't think, moved there yet, so no, the I, are good. I think we should annex, oh, excuse me, uh, Kuwait ourselves. Why should those morons have it? Oh, excuse me.